One of the great Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius, advised us to start each day by contemplating the preciousness of life he wrote at dawn. When you have trouble getting out of bed, tell yourself I have to go to work as a human being. What do I have to complain of if I'm going to do what I was born for, the things I was brought into the world to do? Or is this what I was created for to huddle under the blankets and stay warm? How can we create a morning routine that reflects this ancient appreciation for existence in this video? We will share some stoic practices that can help you begin your day with peace and purpose. Please like the video. If you enjoy it and want to support me in spreading stoic wisdom, if you haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you do so and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. Number Stoics, Meditate 1, Meditate on the Impermanence of All Things. A key aspect of Stoic philosophy is a deep awareness and acceptance of the fleeting nature of everything. Every morning before the noise of the world distracts you, take some time to immerse yourself in this reality. Find a quiet spot where you can sit without interruption. Make sure your posture is relaxed but alert, a physical expression of the balance you seek between tranquility and vigilance. Close your eyes and visualize the immensity of the cosmos. Imagine stars being born and dying galaxies, spinning in the rhythm of eternity in this cosmic dance. Nothing lasts forever. What if you could zoom out and see the whole planet as a small speck in the vastness of space? Imagine how you would feel about the history of humanity, the majesty of nature and your own life in this perspective. This is not an exercise to make you feel insignificant, but to help you appreciate the beauty and fragility of your existence. When you realize how short and precious your time is, you can focus on what really matters to you and avoid wasting it on things that don't. This is a powerful way to start your day with a sense of purpose and gratitude. Instead of fearing death, you can choose to celebrate life and make the most of it as the ancient philosopher. Seneca said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it by doing this practice every morning. You can remind yourself to live each day fully and meaningfully. Number two, write Stoics, write down their thoughts, down your thoughts. Keeping a diary is not just a way to document your life, but also a way to explore your inner world. It is a form of self-reflection, grounding and sometimes even healing. Writing down your thoughts can help you clarify them, express them and transform them to begin find a diary that suits you. It can be a simple notebook, a fancy journal, or a digital app. This is your personal space where you can be honest and free from judgment and pressure. It is where you can let your thoughts flow naturally as you begin each morning. Write down whatever comes to your mind. It could be fragments of dreams, emotions from the previous day or expectations for the day ahead. The first step is to empty your mind of any distractions or worries like sweeping away the fallen leaves from a patio. Then focus on gratitude. In the grand scheme of things, we often forget what we have and what we want, but Stoicism teaches us to appreciate the present moment. Write down three things that you are truly grateful for, whether it's the comfort of your bed, the smile of a loved one, or the opportunity to start a new day. Beyond gratitude, reflect on yourself. Think about a Stoic principle or a personal challenge. Ask yourself questions like, am I living according to my values? Where did I act on impulse instead of reason yesterday? How can I improve today? This is not a way to judge yourself, but to become more aware and grow. Finally, write an intention for the day. Choose a simple statement or commitment based on stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. This will be your moral compass guiding your actions and decisions throughout the day. Remember that your journal is a mirror of your inner world. It's a tool, a friend, a mentor, Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. One of the Stoic texts started as his personal journal. It was his way of applying Stoic principles, understanding his behavior and dealing with life's complexities. Stoics write daily intentions, not goals number three. Write daily intentions, not goals. Goals and intentions both shape our path, but in different ways. Goals focus on the future, on outcomes, achievements, and results. They give us a direction intentions, focus on the present, on the journey, on our values and the person we want to be. Stoic practice emphasizes the difference between what we can control and what we can't. Goals often depend on external factors that may be out of our control despite our best efforts. Unexpected challenges can arise in tensions. 
however are within our power, they are daily expressions of our personal values, a conscious choice of how we want to live in the world, regardless of external circumstances. As you start your morning after clearing your mind with journaling, think about the kind of day you want to have instead of focusing on tasks to be done. Ask yourself, who do I want to be today? Do I want to be patient, accepting each moment as it is without rushing through it? Do I want to be compassionate with myself and others, knowing that everyone has their own struggles, or maybe I want to be brave facing difficulties head on, stepping out of my comfort zone? One way to start your day is by setting some intentions for yourself. These are not goals to achieve, but qualities to embody, for example. You might say, I will be more mindful of my words today, or I will seek to understand different perspectives, or I will find peace in the midst of chaos. These intentions are not meant to be ticked off a list, but to guide your actions and reactions throughout the day. As Seneca wisely said, it is not what you endure, but how you endure. It intentions help you align your daily choices with your inner values. They help you measure your success not by what you accomplish, but by how you live, act and respond in the world. They give you a clear sense of direction and purpose, regardless of the uncertainties of the day. Stoics embrace discomfort. Every morning, another way to start your day is by embracing some discomfort in our modern world. We often expect comfort and avoid pain. However, the historicals knew that comfort can be a trap that prevents us from growing and learning. They practiced introducing small discomforts into their lives as a way to strengthen their spirit, build resilience, and be ready for life's inevitable challenges. A historical philosopher once suggested spending some days with the simplest and cheapest food and clothing, saying this will prepare us better for the future. The idea was not to cause unnecessary suffering, but to break the dependence on external comforts and remind us of our inner power. When you start your day, think of small ways to embrace voluntary discomfort. Maybe take a cold shower to energize yourself and wash away any laziness. This act not only boosts your physical alertness, but also serves as a symbolic reminder of your ability to overcome and thrive, or choose to skip that first cup of coffee, reminding yourself that your drive and motivation come from within not from outside stimuli, you can also try more reflective practices like setting aside 10 minutes to meditate on a past challenge, recognizing the strength you showed and the growth that came from it, or choose to walk or bike to work instead of driving, allowing yourself to be aware of your surroundings and embracing physical effort as a sign of your body's potential. The purpose here is twofold. First, these daily acts of discomfort serve as training for the mind and spirit. Much like an athlete trains the body by regularly stepping out of our comfort zones, in small ways we prepare ourselves for the bigger and unexpected challenges of life. One way to gain perspective is to voluntarily expose ourselves to some discomfort. This helps us appreciate the comforts we have and realize that they are not essential for our happiness or well-being. By choosing discomfort, we are not harming ourselves, but rather empowering ourselves. We are tapping into a deeper source of strength, letting go of unnecessary attachments and discovering a sense of inner freedom that is independent of external conditions. Number five, practice mindfulness and stoics. Practice mindfulness and meditation. Meditation, mindfulness, and stoicism both emphasize the importance of our perceptions and the power of the present moment. Start your morning with a dedicated time for mindfulness. Or meditation, this does not mean you have to sit in a specific position or repeat certain words unless that works for you, means you have to. Center yourself in the here and now, find a quiet place and adopt a comfortable posture. Close your eyes and direct your attention inward. Start by simply observing your breath, feeling it go in and out. Let your thoughts and emotions come and go imagining them as leaves on a stream or clouds in the sky. The key here is detachment. You are the observer, not the participant. This practice aligns well with the stoic focus on separating events from our judgments about them. Dedicate the last moments of your meditation to think about a stoic teaching or quote, for example. You can reflect on Amor Fati or the love of fate. Amor Fati means to embrace every moment, every event, every challenge, and every victory as a gift, as the very essence of life. It is an invitation to not just accept but love the circumstances life presents, whether joy or sorrow, success or failure. Starting your day with the practice of Amor Fati is an act of profound acceptance and gratitude in your first moments of awareness. 
It is not a way to escape reality, but a way to love reality. No matter how it appears, Amalfati is a reminder that the present is a gift and every moment is an opportunity for growth, learning, and connection. It is a deep practice that defies the twists of fate. Ultimately, Amor Fati is a brilliant source of stoic peace, guiding you to a life of acceptance, gratitude, and unconditional love for the present. By embracing this practice, you create mornings that are filled with a deep and radiant love for life, leading you to a day of authenticity, purpose, and virtue. I trust you found this video enjoyable and I extend my gratitude for your presence. Our exploration of stoic morning ritual rules provides the potential for enhancing your mornings, steering your days and fundamentally altering your life. Keep in mind that every fresh sunrise presents a chance to welcome life with thankfulness, bravery, and affection. See you in our next video.